down here on the lower level of the UPMC Event Center. Robert Morris houses some of their NEC Conference Tournament Championships, this one from 2014-15, but tonight in their third season in the Horizon League, they will host their first home playoff game as a member of the Horizon League when they take on IUPUI tonight at 7 p.m. I spoke to head coach Andy Toole and sophomore guard Jackson last about their excitement heading into this game as it is their first home playoff game since the 2020 season. You know, it's always exciting to be this time of year. Uh, and so to be able to have a game at home, I think, is something that uh, you can rally around, you can rally behind. You know, we expect a great atmosphere in here. We expect great student support. Um, and it's always exciting to be playing basketball this time of year. Obviously super excited, you know. Um, we love to get the chance to get back at these guys because we lost our last game. And we're super excited for a home playoff game, you know. The last time we played here at the UPMC, we had an awesome crowd when we played Youngstown. Uh, the student section was rocking, so we're, we're really looking forward to it. There's a lot of excitement. Robert Morse is no stranger to the Jaguars as they just faced off against them in their final regular season home game on Thursday when they fell to the Jaguars by a final score of 81-275 in Indianapolis. Now I spoke to Tulin last. If the mindset changes heading into this game, being that it is a playoff game and that they just played IUPUI last Thursday. Well, we didn't know, obviously, who we were going to play at that, at that point in time. You know, as, as it became apparent on Saturday that we were going to play them again, obviously we needed to refocus. You know, there was definitely some things that we needed to clean up. Uh, we talked to guys about that, you know, uh, credit IUPUI. I mean, they played an excellent game on Thursday night. They made some really great shots down the stretch. They made some big plays. Um, and so that's, you know, one of the things that we have to be able to counter, right? We got to be able to make sure we're guarding the ball better. We got to make sure that we're rebounding better. You know, some of those things that, that we'll talk about and have talked about as we prepare for the game tomorrow. Honestly, we, we know we didn't play that great when we played them last time. Um, we didn't execute what we wanted to do very well. So I don't think the mindset changes a whole lot other than we want to be a lot sharper um, and more disciplined in our execution and in, uh, you know, executing the game plan to the best of our ability. I think that's kind of where the focus is now. Um, I think we kind of got away from that uh, when we were playing there. It is extremely rare for a team to play their final regular season opponent again back to back in a playoffs. But for Tool, that's not so much of a rarity for him. This is the fourth time in my 13 years that this has happened to us where we've played a team to finish the regular season and then played them uh, immediately after in, the, in a postseason tournament. So twice in the NEC, now twice in the Horizon League. So it's, it's certainly not something that happens all the time, but maybe it might be happening more to us than others. Um, but I think the mindset's got to be the same. You've got to go out and you've got to execute your offense. You've got to execute your defense. Uh, you've got to take care of all those little things that can impact winning, whether it's loose balls, um, you know, positionally on the court, uh, taking care of the basketball, you know, all those little things that can be the separator between a win and a loss in, the, in these kind of environments. I also asked Tulin last what this team has meant to them throughout the course of the year and what they have seen that has really stood out to them over the course of the season. I think consistency has been something that, that um, you know, we've had from the beginning. You know, obviously, I think there's always a learning curve to every season, uh, obviously implementing some new guys into the rotation this year. It takes some time for everybody to get cohesive and, and to gel. Uh, but I think gradually over the year, we've gotten better. You know, I think we're certainly better than we were, you know, when we started in November. I think we're better than when we were, you know, in January. Um, I think we're more consistent in our, our ability to execute. You know, I think there's a great desire for these guys to, to want to be successful and want to win. And I think that when you have that kind of mindset, uh, you, you can continually improve and you can get better um, because you're, you're willing and, and there's a desire to learn how to improve, how to execute better, how to be more successful. And I think that that's come from the consistency of a lot of the guys and the desire of a lot of guys to, to be successful and win. I think what makes this team special is we have a group of guys with a really high character. Um, so even when things aren't going our way, you know, we don't feel like we're ever out of it. Um, and I think we've seen over this year as we've kind of come together, built a little bit of chemistry because it was kind of a new group. Um, you know, we've gotten a lot better and we've proved here, you know, the last couple of weeks that we can play with every, and anybody and everybody in the conference. And so we have a lot of confidence um, heading into this playoff run because we know that we can play with everybody. So, yeah, we're, we're excited playing with confidence, but we know that we have to just execute, you know, do the small things day in and day out. Now, the bench for Robert Wurst has been used a lot this year. And I asked Tool if 
we can expect more of the same tonight against IUPUI. And I also asked last what the bench means to him, especially with him being in the starting rotation. Yeah, if those guys can come in and contribute and, and be solid for sure. You know, I think the more guys you have you know, that can go in and can impact the game from an energy standpoint, from an execution standpoint, I think that's always a positive. Uh, obviously, we know, you know some of our guys that are to the top of our rotation have to play well, but the more support we can get from the bench, the better we are. The people coming off the bench have been awesome, especially the last couple of weeks. Um, I think of Chris Ford. I think he was kind of having a hard time early trying to find his role, but lately he's been doing a great job just doing the little things, whether it's taking a charge, getting a rebound, or that dunk against Youngstown, you know, um, and there's other guys, TJ, Trey, that have just been, have been playing awesome because they're kind of finding their role, that niche where they can come in and make an impact on the team. Um, and it, it takes time to figure out exactly what your role is, and they've started to figure it out and embrace it, and that's been huge for us so um you know when the starters need a, a rest those guys come and we know that the level is not gonna not gonna dip at all when those guys come in so it's it's been awesome and it, it gives us a lot of confidence when we come out of the game robert morris comes into this game tonight winners of four of their last five games and they look to carry that momentum into tonight's game against the jaguars as they look to punch their second straight ticket to the horizon league quarterfinals on thursday reporting for colonial sports network I'm Ethan Morrison.